But before we get into our main topics, guys, we got a couple things to talk about here off the top, and we're going to start with this. Now, it feels, Rob, like just, I swear to God, it feels like it was just a month ago, and it might have been, that we announced here, well, we didn't announce it, but we reported on the announcement of the new Snake Eyes movie. Yes, the G.I. Joe spinoff Snake Eyes, starring Henry Golding from Crazy Rich Asians, had begun filming. They had actually begun shooting. Well, jump ahead a little bit now. And, you know, this just kind of reemphasizes a lot of people really overestimate how long it takes them to shoot a movie. Making a movie takes a long time, but to shoot. But Henry Golding has jumped on social media and he has said the following. And that is a principal wrap on Snake Eyes, ladies and gentlemen. What a crew we had, Vancouver and Japan. Uh, you were unstoppable. Thank you for the dedication. This film is going to blow everybody's socks off. So principal photography, now I'm sure there's going to be reshoots and stuff like that. All, all big films do now. So that's, I'm sure, still to come. But the principal photography on this movie is now wrapped. They've done shooting, at least the principal photography, of Snake Eyes. And Rob, that is a story in and of itself. But one of the other things I that really caught my attention, and I know it caught yours too, was look at the logo on the slate. Oh, yeah. There's a Cobra logo on the snake. And of course, you got your very traditional uh, red, white, and blue G.I. Joe stripes going off to the side of the Snake Eyes thing. That's really interesting too. But the main dish here, the main entree here is the Cobra logo. And I don't know why, Rob. I have no explanation for this. But I got to admit, I just assumed that Cobra wasn't going to be a part of this movie. What? Yeah, no, no, I seriously, because I thought, you know, if you're going to do Cobra, that's going to be in a fuller G.I. Joe movie. So I thought Snake Eyes was either going to be more of a, I don't know if I want to say an origin story or a, more of a solo adventure, a side thing, maybe his arch rival. I mean, I, I'm not really sure, but I got to be honest with you. I was not anticipating or expecting Cobra to be a part of this. And so when I looked at that image and I saw that slate and, and I'll bring it up here again, when I saw that slate, I, I, I kind of sh sat up in my chair and go, wait a minute, what? And they're going to have Cobra in it. I got to admit, hearing that Cobra is in it is nothing more than premise. And it really shouldn't make me more excited for the movie, <laughs> but it does. And I'm Come already on. excited for this movie. Seeing the Snake Eyes logo with that Cobra image on there, I have to admit, right or wrong, fair or unfair, reasonable or unreasonable, I got to admit, it, it does make me even a little bit more excited for this movie, and it's unquantifiable as to why, but it does. Rob, number one, you hear about the wrapping of, of shooting on this. How do you feel about that? Number two, what do you think about that Cobra logo being in there? Well, first of all, hail Cobra. And second <laughs> of all... Uh, I don't think they do that with their fists, but you I'm know, not sure I, they do either. Uh, um, uh, I, I I think it's great. first. You know, they they announce this film. It, it get, I love when they announce movies. They go make them, and then their the principal photography is wrapped, and you know that they're coming. I love that. That's the way it should work, you know. And and I'm sure that unlike a lot of our big tentpole properties that wind up with a year of, of post production work, this might indeed have a year of post production work. But I don't know. Do you know when the release date is off the top of your head? Off the top of my I, head, I don't. I can look that up, though. Because, you know, the the last G.I. Joe movies are – they're kind of goofy fun. You know, they're not they're not movies I hated, you know, even though there was an over-reliance on CG in the first one. And I, I, I enjoyed them. Um, but I have to tell you, of all of the G.I. Joe movies, Snake Eyes interests me the most. And, yeah, I, I know Ray Park, and people can talk about all that. But I Henry Golding, you can see his face. And I, I think that it's I, – I like Henry Golding. I loved him in Gentleman. And after yeah, seeing, you know, so did I, I. I mean, I was like, wow, dude, that's a long way from Crazy Rich Asians. And uh, I think he's going to be a great Snake Eyes. I, I don't know how he can fight, but I can't wait to see this movie. I, I have to say I'm really excited for it. And to see that – dude, to see that Cobra, Cobra head and the red, white, and blue of the Joe logo, I mean, come on. Who's not excited for that? I, I got to tell you, well, and by the way, the film opens in eight months. It opens on October 23rd of this year. So uh, they're moving. I mean, they are moving really quick on this film. And yeah. I, listen, Henry Golding, he is impressing me more and more 
every time I see him. First of all, yeah. I thought he was devilishly charming in Crazy Rich Asians. Absolutely. And that's not the easiest thing. It's not like he was doing anything Shakespearean, but to pull off that kind of charm and charisma that he did in Crazy Rich Asians, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do. Now, it doesn't hurt that he's probably one of the top 30 most attractive human beings in the world. That probably doesn't hurt his charm and charisma too. But, uh, but then you see him in something like, I loved him in A Simple Favor. With oh, yeah, Anna Kendrick, great. yeah, I, I thought he was so good in that. And then The Gentleman, which was such a departure from what we've gotten used to seeing him as. Yeah, um, I, I just, I'm telling you what, I am liking this dude more and more, and and I can't wait to see him in this. I, I think this is going to be spectacular. I really do. So I, who knows? I do too, man. Uh, I think you know, 2020, we might not have an Avengers Endgame, but I have to tell you, it's 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 shaping up to be. I don't know if you saw the featurette uh, for No Time to Die yesterday that that Kerry Fukunaga explains his philosophy behind Bond. I don't think I've seen a piece of promotional material that has made me more excited for a movie perhaps ever than that. But now hearing that this wrapped and knowing that we're going to get it this year, I mean, we might not have huge epic monster movies at the box office like Endgame or R Rise of Skywalker, but there's going to be a lot of fun to be had at the theaters coming up, and I'm excited. All right, question is, guys, for you, what do you think about the wrapping of Snake Eyes? What do you think about that little Cobra logo in there? Maybe you're feeling like, KB, it's just a logo. Who okay, It's just conceptual. It doesn't matter. It's, it's all about execution. That's what I say all the time. Absolutely. So I cannot explain why. Just seeing that damn Cobra logo makes me more excited. How do you guys feel about it? Jump into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Okay, guys.